You know, it feels weird to be starting this video not talking about Skypea just because we've been there for quite a minute. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We have episode 196 and 197 of our One Piece watch today. Now, I believe we are starting an arc called G8, which is a short filler arc, 10 episodes that an overwhelming majority of you told me to react to. And that doesn't happen very often with filler arcs. Some I'll just watch off camera. But if, if this many people told me that it's, it's kind of worth reacting to or worth watching in general, then I'll usually just I'll, I'll react to it anyways i know a lot of people are very hyped about me getting to the next arc because I, I believe it's a very renowned arc in one piece but you know this is all about the journey and not the destination i, I want to enjoy my time and see all that this world has to offer so with that being said we're going to hop into it if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big boy bell let's get started with the episode oh so g8's the name of the base he <laughs> said it's impregnable. No, their ship just fell into it, into the middle of it. Ah, unlucky. I'm mostly curious to see the inside of a marine fortress. Dim-witted hedgehogs made soft by peace? Well, if it says, like, strapped as they make it seem, of course no pirates come near it. Ah, these marines don't seem too bad. It's cute that they have a little song about their fortress. It's a cool-looking fortress, too. My dude has a, a bob to fish with that says G8 on it. Man, they're really gung-ho about this base. They got merch. Oh, they're repairing some marine ships. Like I said, we haven't seen the many inner workings of the marines, so this could be cool. Or navy. I don't know. Can I call them the navy and the marines? Macau. <laughs> Surely didn't fall from the sky. I just want to see the reaction to Luffy's ship. Oh, he sees it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, look up. How do you even describe that ship plummeting to earth? Dude, going Mary is like, I cannot believe it didn't just smash, bro. They cut off a lot of the distance with the octopus, but still, whoever repaired the ship in Skypea, whoever the ghost was, they did a hell of a job. I'm going to be honest. Invaded by an object from the sky. I think they saw it. Oh, wait, they didn't. That's a pretty big base. Damn, if only Kobe were at this base, man. Do all of their codes say justice on the back? Or if Smoker were at this base, too. And they're panicking. That's actually sick, though. The design of the base is cool. Just the fact that it is basically a hedgehog. And now we're back to square one. Well, I said it has been peaceful here for quite a while. This must be a sight to behold. It's not some common occurrence, especially falling from the sky. The Shy Empires, they do have somewhat of a name for themselves. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello? Don't you hurt, Mary? Commander Drake. Oh, the guy fishing. I'll be damned. Uh, Usopp's goggles. He's so casual about it. Bro doesn't even care. The sound design is pretty cool. God dang, this is a packed kitchen. Mommy? Thousand people. Yeah, it's a pretty big base. You gotta be ready. It's not your job to worry about the siren. You're cooked. Day this fortune falls, the day the world falls. Jessica. Oh, this is a cool dining hall. I like the concept of this, though. It's a whole new military base. So he's a commander. This commander is pretty chill. They said it fell from the sky. Ooh, maybe they'll bring them in for, like, information about where they came from. Just out of sheer curiosity. Huh? <laughs> it would sound crazy. Talking about Chopper? Oh, Robin. There's Robin. <laughs> Can't they just assume it's a de devil fruit user? G -g -g ghost ship. It's not a stretch to say it's a ghost ship considering there was a ghost on this ship in Skypea. Ah, a Skypea believer. Drake is Lieutenant Commander. I don't think they've said the Commander Commander's name yet. They asked where he was. Maybe they just said, where's the Commander? Oh my gosh, they're being... Bo what is the tape for, man? It's a crime scene. Wait, where's the crew? Did they just dip? They, like, distracted them and ran? How did they distract them and run when all those spotlights were on them? Oh no, the gold! Oh wow, he's actually on the money. What the hell? Are they going to ID the, the coffee or the tea or whatever that is? Where did they go? Did they just all... Wait, they could have... The South Bird. They could have just dove into the water. Luffy can't. Robin can't. Chopper can't. Get him, South Bird. Actually, no, the commander's pretty chill. I love the little rudder controller, how it matches the outside of the Mary. Sanji. 
she keeps a clean kitchen. Why is he still working under the pretense that it's ghosts? Oh, they know that it was in Jaya. Wait, how did they know? Just stuff from it? Oh, Jaya brand coffee. Oh, I guess the South Bird makes a lot of sense too, yeah. It all adds up. Look at this commander. God dang. The Straw Hats, like I said, for the military, have a name for themselves. It's obvious it's Straw Hats' ship because of the mass. Yeah, I guess they're under the impression that they came here on purpose and not on accident. Are they just hiding in the vents? They're on the island somewhere. If this whole arc is them, like, sneaking around the whole time, I'm down for it. Like some James Bond stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say they stand out like sore thumbs. They're gonna need to find navy uniforms. He's very smart to just assume that, yeah. Look at him, damn. He has a real uh, straightforward, um, you know, thought process. It's smart. The choppers split up. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> At least it's a pretty big island. Oh, there's Zoro. Oh, they are all split up. I guess falling like dropped them all off in separate places. They didn't see all the spot lines and go dip. Oh, she still has the waiver too. Oh, they're gonna find it. Oh, maybe not. Man, they blind as hell. Yeah, pirates in a navy fortress don't really go hand in hand. She knows. They couldn't have gotten more unlucky landing smack dab in the middle of it. Actually, they could have. They could have landed on the land and just sh shattered the ship. Did someone just take a blind shot at him or did they? <laughs> he saw his cigarette, but he just shot and he's like, oh, I guess not. And just walked away. <laughs> Why is Luffy sizing the fortress up? It's kind of similar to the ordeals. So they had to pick one to go into. Does he smell them? He does smell them. That hasn't been that long. Less than a day, probably. Wait, definitely less than a day. How lucky are you, Usopp? Oh, he's with Robin, too. But he just found the goggles. How do they not see the hands? They're gonna actually think it's a ghost ship, but they just see hands sticking out of the bird. They're about to find out. Cut it out. I touched that gold. <laughs> the, <gasps> they so cheesy, man. Huh? This guy is good. Doctor. He's got them all nailed to an extent. Chopper's just running around inside. But he's brave. Run, run, Chopper. They're coming. They'll skin you alive. Huge distraction. That... Oh my gosh. That worked. There's gonna be more. Why do I have I, I, the feeling that Zoro could just like take down this whole island if he wanted to? I don't mean to underestimate the Navy by any means, but yeah, they seem really spread out. Some of them. Usopp and Robin were all the way down like at sea level, but Nami's all the way up here. It says evil and then it says good luck underneath it. Yeah, how do you just sneak a ship out like that? Long nose. <laughs> it's okay, you have Robin at least. Oh my gosh. You cannot be serious. He is just walking through. <laughs> Surely it's not an echo. <laughs> just following him. Oh my gosh. Hey, mister. <laughs> Why did he do that at the camera? A little bit of trolling. <laughs> yeah. He's so goofy, man. Why is he just playing chess by himself? Yeah, what is their purpose? The thing I like, though, is this commander seems very lighthearted and nice. Like, most of the time, whenever Navy members are on screen, especially, like, the more higher-ups, it's a lot more, like, I feel like a lot more tense and, like, I, I'm not a big fan of them. There's been ones here and there, though, like, especially, like, Smoker. But this one, I feel like he's been here for so long, he's been kind of bored to an extent that something like this happening is very intriguing to him. He's already kind of shown his prowess in terms of investigation thus far, so he's kind of an interesting character. Let's go 197. <laughs> Navarone? Is that like the official name, not G8? The rumors are spreading. The g g g ghost ship. I guess it falling from the sky is the biggest like confusion to them because that doesn't just happen. 
See, I thought I thought they would be like hype. Like they like they said, they said this, this fortress is so peaceful that something like this happening would be exciting. So yeah, Lieutenant Commander's name is Drake. I don't think they've said the commander's name still. Oh, <laughs> Sanji's in the vents. This is exactly where he is. It's a cool fortress. I like the layout. <laughs> no sense of tension. <laughs> It's being towed. Oh no. Like 88. I, first off, they have to find out that information of where they're keeping it. Stan Mari. He's getting his fishing line ready. What? Oh, they have to focus their efforts towards this. It's on lockdown. Is he just so like confident in the, the fortress standing strong and the pirates not escaping if they are here? He knows they're here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's a little fired up. Like, he's about it. He's excited. He's so intrigued. I wonder if anyone's ever going to mispronounce Luffy's name. Before I watched One Piece like a while ago, I used to think it was Luffy. Like, if I just thought... Zoro's just strolling through! Oh! I mean, he's powerful enough to. He's strong enough to. But, oh my gosh! You don't want to have to take anybody down. They're all just randomly throughout it. I like this. This is cool. Good concept. Where's Chopper? Is he still outside? They're all going to slowly have to try to find each other so they can come up with an escape plan. <laughs> they towed it. You're going to have to pick it up at the station. My gold! Surely they won't take the gold off board. Oh, this was good inferring from your info. I'm totally stuck. That would have sucked if they fell into a lake. That would have been a, just absolutely absurd unluckiness. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. They don't even know what they look like. They just can't stand out. They need uniforms. Who are these guys? They look like pirates for some reason. Oh, they're, they're cooks. This guy looks goofy, man. That's a bold lie. Five years. Oh, Marie Joy. That's the holy city. I remember that. Oh, they have navy insignias of some reputation. His little giggle. Oh, she's got a good end then. Damn, they're big deals. I'm surprised they're here then. She is just BSing so stupidly hard. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice! She got a uniform! <laughs> oh, it's Commander Jonathan. Okay, I must have missed it. Jonathan and Drake. Yeah, he's scary. He sure is scary, Cap. Oh my god. <laughs> this dumbass man. <laughs> oh, it's you. He like chilled out so fast. No, she has the swords. Zoro literally could not care less about being caught. How did you leave the door open, man? I love how it's like built into the mountain. That's actually so cool. Yeah, I figured that'd be his mindset. We don't know where anyone else is, and you're literally in the middle of the nest. Like, that, that'd be such a pain to get through. That's what I'm saying. It's nice. I like it. He's so casual about this situation. Throwing him in the bush. Oh, why are you? Oh my gosh. Close the door, man. One of them isn't going to recognize her. Group leader. Oh, I guess there's so many people here. They wouldn't even, it wouldn't matter. I love how like 80% of the Marines look the exact same. Oh, they're slowly all finding out the perspective they have on their ship. I'm going to eat. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. If like one person finds out, they can just sound the alarm and alert the whole fortress. Because right now it's just speculation that they're here. Nobody actually knows. <gasps> Uniforms. Perfect. Perfecto. Oh my gosh. What did Luffy put over the straw hat? Did he just put like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Sanji can fit right in in the kitchen. Oh, they know about the brothers. Wait, Sanji and Luffy are gonna play fake and pretend to be the brothers. Wait, no. People know what Luffy's face looks like from the bounties. 
<laughs> and free refills. Lumi would love buffets. Oh, yeah, they are going to play the, the brothers. I guess mostly it would be just commanders that know the bounty posters. Oh, thank goodness Nami led them astray. The two brothers. Those despicable cooks? Oh, dang. That's what I'm saying. If they're these, like, insane cooks, why are they coming to this fortress? I'm hungry. Give me food. Million berry foods for dinner to the big shots. I mean, Sanji definitely can prepare some crazy meals. The most sacred place. Sanji's like a woman that can cook? God dang! Perfecto! She has the same mindset as Sanji. Is like how important good food is. She takes kitchen seriously, too. Yeah, she got making batch. That's a big deal. She has like the exact same mindset as Sanji. Like she takes it very seriously. Oh, Sanji can Sanji can impress them. I have no doubt about it. Luffy, on the other hand, other hand, I don't think knows how to make a sandwich. Damn. Mademoiselle. Starting a fight. Guys, there's a fight in the cafeteria. Okay, Sanji, you're gonna have to carry the team here. Each will cook for a hundred people. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, no. The, them two and then the, the actual kitchen? Oh, okay. Never mind. What's he gonna make? What's he thinking about? Sanji doesn't usually cook for the masses like that. Actually, I mean, he worked at the restaurant. That was a, that was a decent amount of people, but hundreds of meals? Oh, here he goes. I want him to flex so hard. Oh, they didn't cut it like directly to the bone. Bro, her face! Don't waste anything. <laughs> Ooh. Adds flavor. Ooh. He's so giga chat, man. <laughs> nice. Their faces. Soft, sweet center dressing. It's beautiful. I like her. He literally just made a meal out of what they didn't use and made it better than theirs. Bayzet. And Luffy just stood there. <laughs> or he's probably eating the food. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <gasps> one piece? That's the one piece. It's food. Ooh, what old geezer? It gives me energy. All the other cooks are like looking down in defeat. Used only the juicy parts. Yeah, if you can make a good meal out of everything else, that shows your real prowess. Don't let the meal carry for you. You gotta make a meal that carries. Oh my gosh, Luffy's eating. Oh no. Did he eat all of their meals? <laughs> That's the prowess Luffy shows off? Oh my gosh. Why is there not more? Hang in there. This child, bro. Slap stomach. I have no regrets. Sanji showed up. Made an impression and dipped. Giga Chad. She wants him to stay in the kitchen. Let's go! Let's go. We're real. Oh my gosh. He just dropped his entire guard. The fact that Luffy and Sanji are honorable Marines now is the funniest thing for no reason. And others that don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Zoro. Well, Zoro wasn't as much guts. It was more he just didn't care. I guess it takes guts, though. Oh, yep. There he is. Okay. He's not even reacting. He's just like, oh, found him. Oh no. Oh no. He's just hanging on by one finger. No! Where did the rock come from? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Dive! Come on! Your beautiful blades, get him! Wait, he's actually gonna catch a fish because Zoro's in the water. Did that fall on him? Oh my god. I thought it became a jelly. Oh. Well. They caught themselves a fish. I am not shocked in the slightest that he's the first one to get caught. Not in the slightest. He's so nice. Welcome. Although it's a little bit more, uh, he's just like talking down to him. 
I wonder how far they actually are from the kitchen. Also, what a random scene to end the episode on. All right, so there we have it. Our introduction to G8. And I guess sort of it, it was kind of outlining what this is all going to be about. Like I said, uh, sort of like James Bond-ish since they're all split up and all have to sneak around. And we're already getting a sense of like their different ways that they're getting by. At least they're going to have to until they're able to all find each other and come up with a plan. But the differentiation between like some are actually hiding, some are trying to blend in. Others were forced to blend in, Sanji by, by Luffy. But again, I like the concept. We're getting to see a lot of the inner workings of the Navy again. An organization that interests me a lot, especially considering we've seen a lot of the higher ups and how much corruption there is, especially with the warlords. I know it's filler, so it's not going to affect any insane things, but still like the, the design of the fortress is cool. We still get to see how they kind of operate and yeah, just get to flesh out the world a little bit more. But guys, that's been it for episodes 196 and 197 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop a sub on the channel if you are new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.